Hi everybody, this is just going to be a quick demo on how you can take a complete metahuman, clothing and all, and bring them into Motion Builder to be characterized for retargeting, animation, uh, whatever you'd like to do over there in Motion Builder. So the first thing to know is that there is a common folder for all metahumans. So if we go to the metahumans under content, there's common, and inside that is yet another common folder. And this contains a preview model that's a full body preview of a complete metahuman, head and all, all as a single model, all with a uh, joint system. And so we can export this as the base of our model. So if I select my metahuman actor here, uh, go to the body component, and then look here, I can see that she uses a female, short, normal weight body model. So I can look here in the metahumans common common folder and find that same model, uh, female, short, normal weight, body preview, and go ahead and export that. So right click, asset actions, and export. And then I'll just go into a folder here. I'll do FBX demo and keep the name the same and save that out. And I'll just keep all the defaults and export. Okay, so now that preview model exists. I can go ahead into Motion Builder, File Open, and navigate to that folder. So I'll go over to FBX demo, and there's that model, and open. And I'm just going to make sure animation discard everything. Um, I'm checking Unreal Take, so we just get the model without any animation. All right, so there is the model, but we don't have any clothing. So let's bring in the shirt, pants, and uh, shoes as well, so we can look at those and, and see them as we're uh, retargeting or doing our animation. So back over to Unreal Engine, we'll want to export the uh, shirt, which is actually the torso, the pants, which are the legs, and then the, um, the shoes are actually the feet. So if we go over to our actor, again selected, I'll start with uh, scrolling down to torso, legs, and feet. We're not going to need the body. If I just select that, you can see that uh, most of the body isn't visible because the faces for everything under the clothing have been removed so that you never get any accidental protrusions of the body through the clothing. So this body model is just hands and anything else that might accidentally uh, show through openings in the clothing. Uh, we're not going to need that since we actually have a full body in Motion Builder. All we're going to need is, scrolling down, torso, legs, and feet. So I'll select the torso, click on the magnifying glass right here down in details, and there's the shirt. So we're going to right click and asset actions and export. We don't have to change the name, we're just going to put that in the same folder, save, export. Then we'll do that for the legs, magnifying glass, right click, asset actions, export, save, and export. And finally, one last time for the feet, same thing, magnifying glass, right click, asset actions, export and save and export. We are good to go. So now we can bring those into Motion Builder. And one of the cool things is, you know, I haven't applied any namespace to this. And so if we look at this model and we look at our scene outliner, we have a uh, body preview. And inside that is a joint system with root and then uh, a model. This skeletal system, these joints, are going to be named identically with everything else that we're about to merge in. So Motion Builder will automatically just uh, map everything to the same joint system. So we'll go ahead and file merge, and we'll go ahead and start with uh, the genes, and open, and animations are disabled, we'll uncheck that, and merge. All right, so there's the genes, and just as a test, I'm going to go to display, uh, x-ray, select, you know, just a joint on the leg and kind of move that. And look at that, the genes are moving. Control Z, undo. Uh, going into our scene here, we have the genes. And we can see here that we just have the model. We didn't get the skeleton because that skeleton is already mapped here. All right, let's just add in the shoes and the shirt. So file merge. And there's the boots. Open that. Uncheck and merge. And file merge. And the shirt open, uncheck, and merge. 
All right, so now we have our fully clothed metahuman. Uh, we can select any joint and move it, and everything moves nicely. At this point, we can go ahead and characterize this. I'm not going to go through that as a demo. Rather than show you step by step how to characterize a model in Motion Builder, check the description for a link to Simon K's tutorial on YouTube. His channel is MoCappies. Uh, hands down, I'm pretty sure that is the best tutorial there is on characterizing in Motion Builder. You would just follow that step by step with your MetaHuman and you will be good to go. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.